Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Real Divine Abundance reading, the monthly reading for September. So even though I do this monthly, this is a new and expanded version. I could not wait to do this reading. Um, and they actually had me write down a new order for doing the decks. They had me close all the doors and windows. And the messages I was getting was that just like I'm a new order, closing the doors and windows in your life, tune out a little bit of the outside stimuli, outside influences, because you are getting tremendous divine guidance, helping you, love support backing for the new, for what you're doing. Like they said, September is going to feel almost like how people greet January as a new year, like a new cycle, a new chapter, old to the new. Um, really coming to terms with everything that has happened before. You could find, I spoke about in the previous reading about purging and releasing and making peace with things. And how are you going forward? What are your priorities? What are you focused on? And also the guidance was get out of your mind, like trying to figure it out so much. Sometimes our mind is doing double, triple time when we are in this mode. But the secret skill was to actually calm your mind down and trust that you have your higher self, like a navigation system that does know the way and to lean back into that. So out of the mind, calming the mind. And actually I call it multitasking that as you're doing things during the day, you have your third eye open, right? You have all your senses open. And even if you had a plan to do something this way at this time, that you're open to the guidance because they're helping you to find better ways, better choices, better decisions. Um, you don't even have to try so hard. It's getting into the divine flow. So this is the messages for September that I have been getting. So as much as you might want to succeed in something, achieve something, accomplish something, it's actually pulling back from your ego self or the, our, our way of we have to put in more effort. We have to do this. We have to do that. It's like coming back to yourself and tapping in and realizing you have divine guidance the entire way to stay in touch with that connection above all else that's going on. You can rely on that and it's guiding you and navigating you to the best ways possible. It's almost like you're co-creating this. You're co-creating the new from the old. You're co-creating more uh, growth. What are you building and growing more in your life? Working with divine energies to do that. And so that has really been the recurring, if I have to sum it up, and so there is tremendous support, love support backing, not just in this reading, but to carry with you in the month of September as you're going forward, trying to build the new, grow the new, um, expand on things in your life. The Akashic Records was all about expansion. And so, yeah, I mean, so this could be very exciting and also like leaving the past or not, doesn't have to be cookie cutter of the same old, same old, feel more guided feel more guided has been such an explanation mark and here is love support backing make no doubt like what comes out in this reading and beyond in your everyday directly is your love support backing for what you're doing from here on out and to feel that level of love support backing so nine decks i mean make no joke they have me close the doors and windows like drink this in you have this with what you're doing in your days 24 7 don't lose touch with that don't lose that in your mind and heart okay all right, so whatever the length of the video is, I'll look up the angel number message. It'll be the first pen comment on the video. Definitely trust your own intuition besides what I say. And definitely it is like your biggest asset all through September, especially. And um, what I was going to say, oh, remember the cards. It could feed you now and later as life happens. So let's get into it. Nine decks. We're going to tap in to the sacred wealth codes. What are the codes? This is the Real Divine Abundance reading. I actually created this reading right after I created the Real Divine Abundance deck. Um, so this is all supporting Real Divine Abundance in all forms. The tangible, intangible. Your link is with source. It's not from any one person, any one thing. So if you had things leave your life, make no doubt about it source is bringing something new in when we talk about old to the new there could be shuffles there could be rearranged they were talking about re reconstruction like trust source so this is going to be a big deal in september to trust source with what comes leaves what comes in what what is shuffled around that's one of the messages too it's like always lean high more into spirit trust 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 okay so we're going to tap into the sacred wealth codes when it comes to that what are the codes the qualities that you already had that you can better utilize remember to utilize in september when it comes to real divine abundance in all forms we're going to tap into the divine feeding you deck the divine what is the divine feeding you in september when it comes to real divine abundance to support that 
you are supported to bloom. This is a level of love support backing that you have to bloom things in your life, right? Um, so they want you to know that you are supported. You are supported to bloom quite literally, to hold that in your heart. Crystal clear divine support for you. It will be crystal clear the divine support for you and what are they divinely supporting for you in September. We're gonna tap into the Remember You deck, the qualities they want you to remember in your heart that will help with real divine abundance. We're gonna tap into the Divine Power deck, what your divine power is being used for or should be used for when it comes to that. We're gonna tap into the Real Divine Abundance deck, the whole purpose of why I even created the reading after I created this. This is for all the divine spirit messages when it comes to real divine abundance to help you with that in September. We're going to end it with divine spirit messages from divine spirit to your divine spirit. This is more direct guidance for what just came out. Loved ones passed on our spirit guides. And we're going to end it with pure love from spirit, which I feel like this all is. So there is, I have goosebumps when I say, I hear myself talk. Sometimes I wish I had a different voice. I sounded different. I think it actually, the messages would be received different. I always wished I was like in a different vehicle almost like, I know that I hear myself talk. It doesn't give justice, but I just want to say again, definitely trust everything that you're getting directly because not only are they helping you um, with divine ideas and things to actually implement or do or move on the guidance, just it also is like your navigation system, your compass. You're, it's, it's a feel. They are giving me a wave of, letting go, a wave of having greater peace with that, a wave of trusting that more, a wave of, it almost reminds me of somebody like paddling furiously on a river trying to get from A to B, but actually there's a wave that's carrying you. You can ride, the, ride that wave. And even if it doesn't look with your senses, you're, you're, trust the wave, trust the wave and ride the wave. Like, <laughs> regardless of what's happening. Um, yeah, and stay out of the mind because our mind is actually not, helping us at this time has been a repeating message. It's more like trust the wave and trust moment to moment, the moment you're in, trust the guidance that you're getting and follow it. Um, and it's really interesting because lately when I was assessing where you're assessing, what are you going forward on, where your focus are, where your priority is, priorities are, you could be making up your mind thinking, yes, I'm going to make that choice decision. But then like your heart, your guidance is leading you to still do something over here. Um, so it's like, and that, so trust that over what you were planning or in your head, because your, your, where you're getting guided is actually more heart related. And that's where your connection is like, trust that wave. It's like a heart wave. <laughs> um, okay. So that's enough of me babbling, but this is everything. And I just really share everything. So what are the qualities they want you to remember in September? Now that I stopped talking, but I just wanted to sum up everything so far. So they're definitely supporting old to the new, your expansion. Let's see, what are the qualities? They're going to get specific. And the level of love support backing that you have way beyond this reading, 24-7. Really hold on to that in the moments with everything that's going on in September. Wow, they're going to get really specific. They're waiting to get to one card here. Hold on. The qualities they want us to remember in September. Yeah, and it's landing on the divine feeding you. Wow, I have chills already. Okay, the leader. I saw this peek out while I was babbling on the bottom of the deck. They are the wind beneath your wings. They are your navigation system. Trust your divine guidance. See how the birds, are, it's all like how they, um, what are they, migrating? How they move? Their instincts, the love of, that's what they're bringing to my attention. Um, and this is also the sun. So this is where... Uh, they said the level of love support backing that you have that is propelling you forward is off the charts. And that is going to be like your secret weapon. I hate even using the term weapon, but I've used this several times. It really is your secret, secret weapon because it is empowering you to go farther, to go higher, to go the leader. And so they're saying, I, you can't make this up. I leave from the heart. Like I said, it's out of the mind. It's more your heart compass. That's how they're guiding you. And it's also trust where it is sending you it's propelling you higher farther and everything else you can trust it over your mind i can't even believe how it is summing up everything i was babbling so much so yeah they're the wind beneath your wings they're the ones that are saying you can trust this trust this and the qualities confident brilliant purposeful courageous 
That's why you're going to have to feel the love support backing. A bird just soared by the window when I said that. Committed, authentic, positive, inspiring, passionate, empowered, visionary, vital, right? Integrious and trustworthy. They are the ones that are really propelling you. And it's going to be almost like your navigation system, but they're really empowering you to go forward. Now, literally, they're telling you a lot of the times they're the ones that you're not getting the rah-rah. You're not getting the encouragement, the empowerment from outside so much as you're getting it from within. So this is what's going to be really powerful in September, where it is propelling you, where it is pushing you, where it is going to feel like the wind beneath your wings. And um, I just, it, it just is. So again, remember, confident, brilliant, purposeful, courageous, committed, authentic, positive, inspiring, passionate, empowered, visionary, vital, integrious and trustworthy so let's get the wind beneath your wings everything else is going to literally be the wind beneath your wings to actually feel more empowered in september going higher farther than you thought before so what is the divine feeding you to be the the wings <laughs> the wind beneath your wings should i put this here literally it's underneath the wings the wind beneath your wings so wind beneath your wings in september let's get what the divine is feeding you i think i'm going to put that underneath the wind beneath your wings what is the divine feeding you to be the wind beneath your wings the love support backing under your wings like definitely leading from your heart again like stay out of your mind be empowered brilliant going forward feeding you the divine steps and feeding you divine releases again how are you going to go farther how are you propelling um yeah for farther higher than before remember what you can travel lighter and farther without the burdens the baggage of the past so that's why i think like i said in the other reading you could feel that you're letting go of a lot you're having divine releases at this time and they're also giving you those divine steps right how are you navigating what are your steps this is the divine guidance that i was talking about where it's not so much you figuring it out it's just like a bird that instinctively is getting what divine steps to do and you are. And you're actually powered up to do that because of the divine releases that have happened. You can kind of travel lighter and go farther than you think. So they're definitely feeding you divine releases so you stay light and going and the divine steps. So you can rest assured that they are actually guiding you on the steps here as you're going farther and you are supported to bloom. So let's see, what are they supporting you to bloom? Right here, they're supporting you to bloom. They had me rearrange the cards and look at how beautiful, like literally the energy beneath your wings here. You are supported to bloom. So go forth now and plant more with the divine. You are planting more with the divine. This is the sun card. You cannot make this up. So they are definitely empowering you to go farther, to go higher, to be brilliant, to be empowered, to keep all of that. But it's coming from them. This is great love support backing. So you go forth now and plant more with the divine. Make no mistake, you are planting more with the divine. That's why they're giving you the, those divine steps. You are quite literally, so it's out of your ego mind, more getting, planting more with the divine, going with the divine. Like I said in the beginning, that's why they had me talk for so long. You're doing this with the divine. You're doing it all with the divine. So let's crystal clear divine support for you. It is going to be crystal clear there's divine support for you as you're going more, planting more with the divine. Lead from your heart. Feel the sun supporting you and just like a bird taking off going places what's really supporting you to be confident and brilliant and purposeful courageous committed authentic positive inspiring passionate empowered visionary vital integrious trustworthy it's landing on divine steps there it's going to be through your divine guidance is going to be your compass giving you divine steps absolutely it landed on divine steps real divine support i cannot even believe what is coming out with crystal clear divine support for you. Are you ready? This is like my Metatron crystal, Metatron heart crystal. And I have chills. It says lead from the heart. I have chills everywhere. And you are planting more with the divine. And they are giving you the divine steps. And do you see what it says here? You are right in divine timing, divine order, divine purpose. Know your place in it all now. You are planting more with the divine. Through them, through this orchestration, you're doing the divine steps. Like, know what is supporting you as you're going farther here in September. This is, you are right in the divine timing, divine order, divine purpose. And here it said purposeful. Like, to know that it is very much on purpose. Um, so they're definitely giving you the divine steps. But more than that, you're almost like divinely right in the, on path, on purpose, 
divine timing. They're going to make sure divine order, right? Crystal clear divine support for you. They are telling you this. You are right in divine timing, divine order, divine purpose. Know your place in it all now. There's something about that keeping you in your place, aligned to your heart, moving on those divine steps that they're giving you, that you're going forward and you're planting now more with the divine. And that is so powerful. I don't even know what to say and I have chills. And that's why I was moved. I couldn't wait to do this reading because they're going to make sure that you know this um, in September in the most divine ways. Okay, so what do they want you to remember in your heart as you're doing this? I have chills everywhere. They're giving you the divine steps. They want you to go forth now and plant more with the divine. You lead from your heart, out of your mind. Be more empowered, courageous with that. Know what is the energy behind your propelment. Um, going farther here, the leader this is the sun. I lead from the heart. So what are the qualities they want you to remember? Remember, you cannot make this up. If you've ever doubted, and believe me, I've been doubting, like what's aligned to my purpose at this time because we're assessing, reassessing everything else. Number one thing, especially with this Metatron heart crystal, remember you are on purpose. Number one thing, you are right in divine timing, divine order, divine purpose. You are on purpose. Remember, you are on purpose. They're really going to make you, they're trying to give that to you in some way over and over that you are on purpose. So what you're doing, they're giving you divine steps. You're supposed to plant more now with the divine. You're very much on purpose. They're going to bring this home to you. They're going to remind you of this, especially when you feel like you're not or you're assessing or questioning what is. But they're saying, remember, you are on purpose and remember, you are compassion. So whatever you're going forth now and planting more with the divine, you're planting um, those kinds of seeds however it is like when you're aligned to your heart that's compassion that's empathy that's love um that's caring that's making things better um so they're re they're telling you to remember your own purpose and remember your compassion that is what you're pouring out here it's very much on purpose um so most of you on the channel we're all empaths we're have all our clairs open um very sensitive um everything that the world doesn't value or like it's not revered or respected or everything. You're bringing those qualities. It's actually a very valued, priceless qualities. Um, the sensitive, the lover, the empath, compassionate. Um, so they're telling you you're very much on purpose, very much on purpose. And I have chills everywhere because we all doubt what we're doing, the effect of what we're doing. Um, you're right now, know your place in it all now. You are very much on purpose. Um, and so they're asking you to go farther, to go higher, to plant more now with the divine. They're going to have you release a lot, probably so you can go more empowered, uh, you know, farther and follow those divine steps that they're giving you. I'm telling you, it's going to be different because sometimes in our mind, a bird might be like, I don't know if I should fly over there. I don't know if I should continue in this direction. No, they're going to be telling you, remember, you are, you're very much on purpose. So there's something about this that it's going farther um, feeling divinely guided and really getting those divine steps. Um, like I said, not so much from the outside world, but what's propelling you, they're giving to you directly. And so to and know you're very much on purpose here. Um, and they're giving you the divine steps here now, almost intuitively. So go forth now and plant more with the divine. And it's pure orchestration and there's something how this is going to be very important in the month of September that no matter what you keep that in your own heart right so you know that um so this is just absolutely beautiful so let's talk about your divine power because they're actually having you go farther here to take the lead on things to take those divine steps to know that it's on purpose to plant more with the divine so whatever steps you're getting do it. You don't need someone else to agree with you or that permission. It's very much you are right in divine order, divine purpose. And take those steps now because you're actually going forth now and planting more with the divine. So you're accomplishing more with, with the divine, right? With that connection, with that support. I mean, they're making it very clear. So real divine, your divine power is to open up and share more. There was something about your compassion. This is about going farther here, planting more. You have divine power to connect with for more peace. Yeah, there's something here about as you're going forward, 
actually sharing more. It says plant more with the divine. Remember your compassion um, and connect with for more peace because they're the ones that are saying that you're on purpose. They're making me say that a gazillion times. There's like two or three cards about you're on purpose. So whenever you need to feel more support, um, as much as you're pouring out and sharing more because you're doing more with the divine, you, anytime you need, you connect with them for more peace. There will be times when you're getting in your head is what's coming up in this reading. You might not feel on purpose. You might not feel as supported, but they're telling you, yo, no, you are supported to plant more. You are the compassion. You're very much on purpose. Share more, get those divine steps, follow through. And anytime you need that peace, um, connect with them for more peace because they're saying you are right and divine. This is your peace. You are right in divine timing, divine order, divine pur and divine purpose. They're going to bring this very much so. Like, go forth now. Um, and very much in your heart space. Very much in your heart space. That's what I want to say here. So you're actually accomplishing more with the divine. I mean, this is literally what they're, they're supporting this action. To go forth now and plant more with the divine. Know what's supporting you. And it's supporting you to be confident, to be brilliant, to be purposeful. And it's two more cards about purpose. You're very much on purpose at this time. And you're going to feel very guided on the steps. They're helping you with divine steps here. So remain committed and authentic and positive and inspiring and passionate and empowered. A visionary, vital, integrous, trustworthy. They're helping you to go forward and do more, plant more, and giving you actually the divine steps. And also the divine empowerment. And more than that, to know it's very much on purpose. And I think that is going to give you a lot of peace. Right? Okay, so let's talk about the real divine abundance messages. What are the, the real divine abundance in all forms? What should we keep in our mind and heart as we're going forward now? Following through on divine steps. Knowing that you're very much on purpose. It's time to share. It's time to do more. But there's so many things about on purpose. So they want you to know that everything that you're doing is very much on purpose. Very much on purpose at this time which is amazing. It's landing on peace. You let go of others' opinions and trust yourself more. That is like the moral. It began and ended with that. Remember when I said, don't pay attention to outside. Let go of others' opinions and trust yourself more because they're the ones that are giving you the divine steps here. Trust yourself. Trust what you're getting um, to trust that. Let go of others' opinions here. You're getting empowered by the sun, by divine here on divine steps. Um, let go. That could be part of divine releases. Um, there's something about going forth now with the divine, knowing that you're right on purpose. Let go of others' opinions. Just trust yourself more. That's your navigation system. There is so much real divine abundance coming in for you. Oh my gosh, that's what they want you to know. Yeah, they're they're giving you the divine steps to actually go forth and plant more with the divine. Of course, there's more real divine abundance coming in for you. And follow through on your divine guidance by listening to and acting on your intuition. Could they bring Bring it home anymore. Yes, you're supported to bloom. They are telling you to literally listen to your intuition because they are giving you the divine steps. They are supporting you literally doing this. It is like divine orchestration. I wish out then I was an octopus. Like you're very much on purpose. So pay attention. They're giving you the divine guidance. Follow through on your intuition. This is not about your mind figuring out uh, steps A through Z on how to accomplish something. It's really the divine giving you divine steps all through your intuition. Follow your divine guidance. It came out before listening to and acting on your intuition. There's going to be a lot of real divine abundance coming in for you. Actually let go of other people's opinions. Trust yourself more. Trust yourself more. They're giving you some to soar. They're giving you all you need to soar. Trust yourself more. Because <laughs> yeah, look, Yes, because you go forth and plant more with the divine. Look who, look who you're accomplishing with, right? So it's like, yes, yes, yes. So definitely divine steps all through your intuition. So there's definitely more real divine abundance coming in. Definitely they're giving you the divine steps, the divine trage trajectory, direction and trajectory, if that's the word. Follow through on your divine guidance act on your intuition. It's all through the divine guidance. It's almost like your higher self, your spirit guides, all of that. Let go of other people's opinions. Trust yourself more. There's so much more coming in for you as you keep going like this. Just follow through on the divine guidance. 
listening to and acting on your divine guidance are the divine steps very much on divine timing divine order divine purpose that's going to give you a lot of peace you're very much on purpose it's been coming up uh, over and over so let's get the divine spirit messages wow 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 if there was any doubt any doubt that you are on divine purpose um, just release that now because they're giving you divine steps to go farther to plant more with the divine there's more abundance coming in here just follow through on your intuition you can have peace and uh, follow through on your intuition, your guidance here. Let's get the divine spirit messages to tie this in. Trust the process. Yeah, exactly. It fell over here. Like follow through on your divine guidance. Act on your intuition. Trust the whole process. That's it. Have more peace and trust the process. Relax your body now. You know, no longer need that in your life. There is a lot that we're leaving behind. There's a lot about divine releases. So you can fly forward and accomplish more with the divine. So anything that has left your life, you no longer need. You can relax your body now and have more peace. This is about traveling lighter, right? This is divine releases. So you're actually traveling lighter. They're really bringing that home. You're, so you go forth more and you go forth and plant more with the divine. Trust the process. You can relax and you can let go of what no longer, you know, that you no longer need in your life. It's time to go forward here. So you're going to find that they actually have helped you to trust the process, this divine release, so that you're actually going forward. If things left your life, it's fine. You no longer need that in your life. That's what they're saying. So it's a time to go forward now. You're going to plant more with the divine. There's more real divine abundance coming in for you. Definitely following your divine guidance is going to be key. Not only that, they're giving you their divine steps. Everything is very much on purpose. Everything is very much on purpose. Let's end it with your love from spirit. Trust the process because it's definitely, there's so much real divine abundance coming in for you. And all you have to do is lean more into trusting your intuition, following the guidance, it's, they're feeding you the divine steps and also the divine releases. And that came out before, like the purging and releasing. And so that you can go forward lighter and go on for more and actually plant more with the divine and know that it's very much on purpose here. So this could be, we know how good you are. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. The number one card, this is what they want. And this is, it landed on peace. There are going to be times when you are doubting if you are on purpose. And I can't tell you how much that this kind of knocks the winds out of your sails. Talk about going forward, planting more, right? They are the ones when they said that you are actually supported to fly here. So go forth and plant more with the divine. They are going to be the wind underneath your wings. They are the ones that are saying how good you are. They're the ones that are empowering you. So whenever like a bird is losing its steam or the momentum in its energy to carry on, to carry forward. Something's going to come in besides this reading is what I'm saying to, to for love support backing that they know how good you are, that you're very much on purpose. They're feeding your heart. Remember it said lead by your heart. So whenever you're faltering by your heart or your empowerment or feeling encouraged, they're the ones that are saying, we know how good you are. Hold peace. They know how good you are. This is very much on purpose. They know how good you are. You can connect with for more peace anytime. You're supported to go forward with divine. They know how good you are. So they definitely know how good you are. Like your efforts, your insides, your heart, um, what you're all about, what you're doing. They know how good you are. So I always say this is my car for like, you don't have your cheerleaders. You don't get the feedback, the pat on the backs, blah, blah, blah. They are the ones that are saying, we know how good you are. They're the ones that are spurring you on that you're actually going to be following your guidance here. There's a lot of real divine abundance coming in for you. Let go of others' opinions. Trust yourself more. It's like they're your rah-rah section. I don't have the words for this, but what I'm saying is they're going to come in and make sure that you feel like this going forward in September. They know how good you are. So keep up like the good work and the good works. Keep up being nobody but yourself and all that you are. Share that more. Your compassion. You're very much on purpose. Keep doing you and following your guidance and trust the process. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we want you to tune into us. There was a lot of that. I mean, they are the ones when you need the feedback, the rah rah, the support. Tune into them. They know how good you are. That that's what they're feeding. You'll get um, symbols, signs, direct messages. You'll get guided to something that's feeding 
your heart, feeding you encouragement, feeding your spirit. I talked about that before because sometimes we, um, we're losing stamina. We don't feel encouraged. We start to doubt. No, they're saying you're very much on purpose here. They're going to make sure that you feel propelled in some way, that you feel empowered in some way, that you're getting back up in some way because you're planting more with the divine here. They want you to follow those divine steps. They know how good you are in the process of doing this. Is really going to feed you a lot. You know, on your insides is what I'm talking about. Whoa, they all fell apart. Well, we know how, because they know how you feel. Exactly what I'm saying. We know how you feel. That's why they come in. I'm telling you, this is all lead by your heart. You're, you're, you're soaring by your heart. So you have to stay up in your spirit. Does that make sense? We know how good you are. We know how you feel. So sometimes when they know how you feel, they're going to, they're going to give something that gives a little oomph in your wing capacity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a nice breeze to ride on, to lift your spirit up, quite literally to uplift you again. We know you love us. Yes. Cause when they come in like that, you have, yeah. And we will help the situation, heal the situation. If there are any situations that need to be healed, made better, they're definitely working on doing that. Definitely a lot of beautiful um making things better they're gonna help make things better but um they definitely know how you feel so whenever you need a little pick me up or anything like that they're gonna be coming in here but what's really leaping out to me this is all about planting more with the divine right and to know that this is very much on purpose and there is a divine orchestration here they're definitely following through on your divine guidance is leading to the real divine abundance so that's why they're keeping you having divine releases going forward now and following those you can't they're what they're feeding you underneath like the wind beneath your wings divine releases and those divine steps that propel you to follow through on that and it's actually creating real divine abundance but more than that as you're doing the divine steps to feel that love support backing they're gonna give you signs and symbols like they know how good you are they're helping to heal and better situations they're gonna give you pick-me-ups and uplift you um they are to give you peace to make sure that you know you're on purpose and yeah, I mean, that's what's coming through in this reading, that they know how good you are is so priceless and they know how you feel. So they're going to they're going to pop in whenever you need. But this is definitely being almost like that bird that's sailing in the sky and has their own navigation system. And you're going forward here, moving on divine steps that you're getting intuitively. You're definitely going to be doing more with the divine, right? You're going forward with the divine. There's, it's very much orchestrated, very much on purpose, divine order to trust that. It even says trust the process. You just follow through. It's leading to more real divine abundance. That's it. They know how good you are. Like, let that be the wind underneath your wings, right? So this is definitely how you're going, how a bird soars in the sky. You're following divine steps. That's leading to everything. So that's why they were saying, pay a little less attention to outside. Let go of others' opinions. Trust yourself more. Trust the divine steps more. And I'm saying, like, moment to moment, like, if you are doing something and you plan to do this, but then you're getting a divine idea or a divine inspiration, divine guidance to do this, you're going to follow through because it, they are working with you, with the divine, right? This is going to be key. You're with the divine. That trumps anything else that you're getting. You know, the gravity of the world can pull you down energy-wise, direction-wise. No, they're keeping you very much on purpose, divine orchestration. You follow your intuition. You're planting more with the divine. You hold that in your mind and heart. That's That's the mojo for keeping you like this all through September. You're planting, you're planting more with the divine. You're going to achieve more with the divine, with the divine steps, right? And even the divine releases so that you're, you're up in the sky, moving in the direction. And there's a lot of analogies to those birds, um, going by your heart more than your mind, going by your divine guidance more than other people right? That's, you're very much on purpose. So, and it's leading to more real divine abundance. So you're going to accomplish a lot more with the divine. This is with the divine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go forth now and plant more with the divine and know what's supporting you. Way beyond this reading, you're going to get a lot of love support packing, especially when they know how you feel and they want you to know the, um, how good you are. Like the supporting, encouraging, that love support backing you're going to find, giving you a lot of peace, reminding you you're very much on purpose, trust the process, and follow through. It's really leading to more. You are going to more with the divine. So I wish you the best with September. Take care. Bye-bye.